السلام عليكم ورحمة الله كيف حالكم يا شباب معكم أبو سارة في قناة بوجيمان اليوم راح نكمل قصة هيتمان تري في إنجلند عملية قتل في العائلة إن شاء الله بس معينا خلونا نبدأ <تصفيق> يلا يا شباب بسم الله نبدا نبدا بسم الله صراحه مره متحمس مره متحمس اوكي ايش نختار هذا برج خليفه ناخذ لنا هذا القروش والمسدس اوكي She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here. I bet the like and it ends here. Talk about poetic. <coughs> One more thing. According to the <coughs> <to my mate, coughs> keeps a case of the Information that may be helpful in the future. So don't leave the estate without it. Okay, right. Ah, tell her here. Happy hunting, 47. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlyle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlyle and her three adult children. Younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlyle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlyle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jet. Okay. That's the market chance it the the محقق. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madam Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madam Carlyle. You can go right in. Okay. That's a little bit of Sarah.
في ناس في كل مكان فانتظروا اتوقع داخل البيت افضل الراحه اوكي طب ناخذ جوا اوكي تجسس Oh, by the way, I told Kate about this text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me because she understood the position I was in. We had everything to talk about. It. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman, and that stuff from your ex was like manipulation 101. I know, I know. I guess I thought she was going to read into them and freak out and say I must have done something to provoke her. Shit, man. Caroline really did a number on you. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what I'm going to I'm going to This is what I mean. You have to be past it down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Sir, I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. درع سيدة عندهم برضو نكبني أمك قاعد يستنى ال المدام هذا شو اسمه آه طب الحمد لله المدام نازلة بسرعة 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 That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, forty-seven. الحمد لله واحد شافني. أخذنا الشخصية وهي جاية. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion. أخوها الصغير ما شاء الله. Very well. بجين حقي يعني. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience. A thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. <coughs> Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Okay. يقول ما تبغى تتكي تشرب شاهي تاكل حاجة امشي هي امشي طيب روح I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature you may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death you will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow Madam's children that their mother was in fact not dead at all. If they seem affected by the rather unusual situation, I trust I do not need to remind you of the consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide note. Madame Carlyle suspects him, and will not accept that he took his own life. 
I've prepared some information for you. So please do come and see me when you finish your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room. Oh, then I'm to my right. There's a no lot to room bag. murder mystery 47. I Blind trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant day. poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last oh. night. You do know your poisons, 47. Okay. Uh, in the... Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Oh. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Okay. Oh, I don't know. ناخذ صورة شخصية يا سلام عيني عليك طيب امشي امشي هنا في شيء اه لكم الا والله It's a secret passage This could explain how the door was locked from the inside Hmm a photocopy of the floor plans okay. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge okay. Manor uh, they, uh, I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. I'll go see the butler. What do you do? Where is the hat? I هذا هو بتلر هذا هو هذا بتلر انا منين اجيت اه هذا هو يا كيب ات ريل مستر فيرنسبي ام دون وذ ذا كرايم سين Did you establish a time of death Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night okay. That means the staff were off duty and Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. What is she going to do? Hello, sir. لا يتخيلوا يقولوا أنا ما عندي حجة غياب وأنا أعطيك ال list. So how does one solve a murder mystery 47? آه طيب. هذا اللي مات هذا السسبكت الأول. السسبكت الثاني إدوارد وجريجوري ريبيكا وإيما باتريك. وهذا هو انه بصراحه انا احسه هذا القاتل يعني motive means an opportunity i believe may i suggest you ask the suspects for alibis or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first on earth are you doing in this shithole a girl like you belongs in clubs in london i bet you're a great dancer i don't like dancing talk later okay patrick carlisle can you tell me where you were yesterday evening it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Privacy. <laughs> Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. 
I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? Okay, I'm going to go to the house with Rosie. Okay. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go back in. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about? So, yesterday evening, we don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a at I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? Right. Gregory, okay. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Babe. Edward. I don't know Edward. I don't know if Edward. I don't know if there's one here. Where is he? هذا مين؟ هذا Professor Edward Carlyle Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh yes, this dreadful business with Zachary I stay at the local inn You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap He would never admit it, but I think he understood ah, this whole thing upsetting And wanted to provide some comfort I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight Anything else I can do to help? Okay. معناته اللي قال Gregory هذا كلام صحيح نعم عندهم حجة غياب يعني. باقي باتريك وهذه إيما وهذه ريبيكا وهذا طيب. ما أعرف شو صراحة في هنا. Okay. Rubin tank, But that Emma woman is a tad too busy for my taste. Tell me. She turned up and demanded to be put up in Madame Carlyle's bedroom. Oh, really? Head with the family after all. Rosie. Rosie, okay. tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Gregory. I. 
I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. You're quite creepy, aren't you? He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's... And it's Patrick Moho. Patrick. Buggy Emma, Buggy Hardy. An idiot. That's what he is. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat okay. and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Oh, I'm good for that place. Okay. How are you today, sir? Okay. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Okay, let's move up there. Find it. Find it. Find it. What a hell of a day. اروح ادور لي حاجه تفتح الباب وين ممكن تلاقيها دريش هنا بصراحه انا خايف شوي Patrick token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You okay. did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Of course. Okay, okay. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever oh. saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. And that oh. detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe okay. Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? Oh, I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. Then we'll all need a vacation okay. when this is over. Bye. توقع الدرج اوكي هنا توقع غرفه فوق تمام هنا كان هنا توقع Hello, sir. Well, look at me getting all giddy. <laughs> it's like year 10 all over again. Just without the awkward slow down. Okay. What was that? Okay. Are you with Emma?
ولا هذا غرفة جريجري اوكي قاعد ادور على اللابتوب يوم قلت هيك هذا على اللابتوب اوكي اوكي ما في ولا حاجة بصراحة Now this is interesting 47 a letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother Montgomery and listen to this she claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him the plot thickens <laughs> طلعت إما بنت أخو اللي بنحاول نذبحها هذه. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. Don't worry, special forces are here. Got it. That American lawyer in the All right. small office, did you check his travel documents? I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. Hmm. Okay. 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 that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Account HTC Depot number five zero eight five. Oh. No, I needed a meeting. سرية جدا شكلها. باقي بس مكتب البتلر هذا. زي هو مباين. اروح الانتل هذا. هذا مكتب فرنز فرنز بي اوفيس بروح مكتب وشوف. كان مكتبه سموها قريب وهنا وهنا Okay, 
good time, I think. I'm getting a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? What if she says no? I mean, this big funeral thing tomorrow. Okay, I don't know what Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But no. What the poison used to kill Zachary? Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Oh, they're gonna kill her. Mr. Fernsby Zachary. clearly didn't commit the murder. But I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Zachary's diary. This is big. Okay. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room. Proving he didn't to write my it himself. To Madame okay. Very well. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? أكيد إيما أكيد إيما شوفنا هنا كريجري وهذا كانوا مع بعض في اللي يشربوه هذه كانت كاثر سكول وهذا كان مع روزي وهذا هي توها بتقول اللي معايا في السماعة إنه مو هو فأكيد إيما إذا ما هي ما عدنا العادة البداية البداية المهمة من البداية أخيرا سمحت آه كمان في فوق والله أنا ما شفت أوكي تصورك <تصفيق> There are a lot of them on the grounds. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Keep an eye out. Please step inside. Stay on top of things like that. I can't forget his eyes. They were so swollen, it didn't even look like Zachary. I've never seen a dead body before. Hey, don't move. I'm getting someone to deal with you. I'm getting help. You just wait right there. Oh, you there. You have to help. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Yes. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet 
He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? Okay, money or the case file? Oh, my last one, you have case file. Did the cut the flow? What is it? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards, the constant. But that must mean you're. I expected you'd show up. But you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. Good work, forty-seven. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Get the house. So we better love them. Keep, keep it back. أنا بصراحة ما أعرف وين رايحة بس حروح أخذ لي الفيوز لأنه كان في تحدي قرأته إنه وقت ما تتصور وقت التصوير تقوم تسوي له كهرباء فاهم؟ فهمني؟ طب ما أدري فين بصراحة وين وين وين؟ أنا أخذ لي الفيوز بس طيب الإضاءة <تصفيق> Right now. It feels like I can't breathe in there. The tension is off the charts. Yeah, it expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Fuse, fuse, fuse.
Mary is so upset, as she's never seen a dead body before. Poor thing. Alexa back from the dead, a make-believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, all too much. arranged funeral event tomorrow will take place as planned. No one can know that I am still alive. I expect you all to act your part. Love. Confused, very confused. آه هنا الفيوز يا الله دخت عشان يلاقي Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is gross negligence of your responsibilities and will have consequences for your company and you personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. Sweeping area, over. Hello? Mission complete. Well done, 47. Okay, okay, okay. I had chef, I had chef, I
اي يعني والله كان اللي يفتح البيبان في الحمام وما اخذته. انا ما دخلت ولا نوم في الحمام. 47 دونت ريسبوند جست ليسن. دايانا كانت هيلب يو ناو. يو نيد تو فايند اوليفيا. شي ويل نو وات تو دو. اه دايانا اللي كلمني كنت في خطر. شكلها ماتت. اي ويش ذا هاد بين مور تايم. Take us all on. Had Don't. Tell the constant to start running. You think you've won? Forty-seven is out there, and forty-seven never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Is that huh? Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. Allah, he may never find. Ah, طيب هنا يا شباب خلصنا حلقة اليوم. ال ال المهمة اللي بعدها إن شاء الله راح نكون في وين. هم اللي بعدها نروح في جيرماني برلين فخليكم متحمسين معايا خليكم تونت ونشوفكم ان شاء الله المره الجايه السلام عليكم